Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general love reading for the zodiac sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the second half of your September from the 16th uh, to the 30th. We are going to take a look at your over energies, what's surrounding you guys uh, in regards to love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their current true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we will take a look at what the possible outcome and advice are. Uh, before we get started, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on new videos that post onto my channel. Uh, give this video a thumbs up, like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Share this video with someone if you feel like there's someone out there that you know that needs to hear this. And leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonated. Those of you that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. Alright, Sag, so let's get started. Over energies for Sagittarius regarding love and the person that they are connecting with, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the second half of their uh, September from the 16th to the 30th for Sagittarius. Over energies for Sagittarius regarding love and the person that they are connecting with here. All right, we have the devil here, Capricorn energy. So you might have Capricorn in your chart or you're dealing with someone that has Capricorn in their chart here. All right, we have the five of swords. We have the strength card, Leo energy. Maybe you're dealing with a Leo or you have Leo in your chart. We have the nine of pentacles, Virgo energy, pre-empress energy, six of wands here. Ace of wands. And the full Aries energy, Aquarius energy. Um, I mean, you could be leaving this behind. You could be walking away from it. I mean, you could be dealing with a lot of mind games here, a lot of mind fuckery, gaslighting here. You could have been hurt by someone that you're dealing with. Maybe someone here put you in a third party situation. Maybe someone here was unreliable. Uh, someone here kept secrets, perhaps. I mean, we have the moon here, too. So, I feel like someone here is trying to move on on their own. Trying to find victory and success on their own here. Trying to find their own independence. Trying to regain some sort of self-worth. Trying to get strong again. Um, so, let's see. Why is the Five of Swords here? Why is this Five of Swords here? Five of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. Why is the Strength card here? Strength card and the Queen of Cups. So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. So Sag, maybe you have that in your chart there. Some Water energy. Why is this uh, Knight of Nine of Pentacles here? Nine of Pentacles in the Hangman. I mean, you could be going through some sort of spiritual awakening in regards to that double energy that you've been attached to for a while, or that energy being attached to you, or vice versa. Because I feel like there's a lot of confusion going on here. Because I feel like you've been confused by someone that you've been dealing with here. Why is the Six of Wands here? Six of Wands and the Five of Cups. So something here was unsuccessful, and I feel like you feel I feel like you failed at it or something like that. I mean, whatever toxic energy you were attached to, I mean, it's better to be away from it to than be with it. 
better to take it as a failure because then you learn something from it too. Because it's a win for you. I mean, Ace of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. Capricorn energy, Taurus, Virgo. Why is the Fool here? The Fool and the Six of Cups. I mean, I feel like you could have been dealing with someone here. You could be going back. I feel like you might be taking a leap to go back with an ex or something like that because something didn't work out here. So I'm feeling like maybe someone here left someone to be with someone else and realized the gr gas, the gas, the grass wasn't greener on the other side here. It seems like someone here put themselves in a third party situation. So Sagittarius, this could be you. This could be someone that you're dealing with or someone else that you're dealing with here. So just apply this to your own unique situation because I feel like someone here is coming in or taking a leap towards the past to apologize perhaps for leaving someone for a toxic individual here. I mean, someone could have left to be with this toxic in individual and then they were put in a third party situation too. So maybe there was some sort of karma going on here. Uh, tell me about the person that Sagittarius is dealing with here. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for um, the second half of their September from the 16th to the 30th. What are this person's true feelings and intentions for Sagittarius here? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Salons, Ten of Pentacles, Six of Cups. So whoever is on your mind here, Sagittarius, whoever is on someone's mind, someone here is going towards a past person here to get this back. Because I feel like someone here had it really good with someone. And now someone here wants to go back. Um, we have the moon here, Cancer, Pisces energy. Could be dealing with the Cancer or Pisces, Two of Pentacles, King of Cups. So we have the King to Queen of Cups here. So this is a strong soul tie. This is a strong soul tie. And the Chariot, which is Cancer energy here. So. It seems like someone here wants to go back with an ex. Like I said, someone here left someone to be with a third party. Uh, this third party apparently is a toxic individual, could have been narcissistic also. And this toxic individual put this person in a third party situation. And I feel like someone here is trying to come back now. Uh, why is this uh, 10 of pentacles here? Why is this 10 of pentacles here? Chariot again. Someone here wants to move towards a Ten of Pentacles with an X. Alright. Why is this uh, Six of Cups here? Six of Cups and a Nine of Cups. Someone here is realizing that... It seems like someone here made a mistake. Someone here is realizing that we have someone realizing that you are like a wish fulfillment or something like that. Why is the moon here? Or, or And that they're in love with you. Uh, you might have a past life soulmate, uh, a soul tie with this individual with these Six of Cups showing up. We have the King of Wands here. So Sag, this is you right here. Why is this Two of Pentacles here? Page of Pentacles. I mean, someone here is coming in with an apology. But I feel like this Queen here moved on.
someone's trying to figure out to come in with an apology to try and make things right. I mean, the thing is, I feel like this King of Wands is still coming back with a lot of secrets, though. So, Sag, I mean, that's your energy right there, but you can feel free to switch the roles if you want. The roles could be flipped or reversed. So, either you're this king that put this queen in a third party situation, you went towards a third party, this third party was toxic, they put you in a third party situation, now you want to come back to this Queen of Cups or the other person. So, like I said, you can flip the roles if you want. Uh, you can flip the roles, of, uh, roles if you want. Why is this King of Cups here? King of Cups and Justice, someone here is facing their karma. Why is this uh, chariot here? Chariot and the Devil, wow. Someone is facing their karma for going towards perhaps a karmic. And this karmic or this narcissistic individual that they went towards put them in a third party situation too. I mean, I feel like someone here wants to talk, but a fight is going to break out here. Uh, I'm feeling like this queen might not want anything to do with this king here because someone here is good on their own. Someone here is he someone here is healing. Someone here is trying to regain their independence. Perhaps this queen of cups lost a part of themselves for trying to make a relationship work with this king. So let's see. Karma is a real, real, real thing. Uh, what you put out there, you'll definitely get back. Um, you know, when you apologize to someone that you did, so did something wrong to someone, that does not ne negate the karma because you already put it out there in the universe. And you just have to cycle through it. You just have to suffer through it until you learn the lesson. Apologizing does not make the karma go away. And I feel like this person is trying to do that. Because now they're like whacking themselves in the head. Um, I've come in advice here for Sagittarius regarding the love situation for the second half of September from the 16th to the 30th. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for Sagittarius. Alright, let's see what we have here for you, Sag. We have the Magician, Gemini, Virgo energy, Four of Swords, Justice, Ten of Swords, Page of Cups. I mean, someone here is like coming back, trying to like beg for forgiveness here, I feel. Because whatever karma that they're experiencing, I mean, it's hitting them really hard. Seven of Cups, Queen of Cups. And we have this queen that is enjoying life, doing whatever they want to do. Uh, and we have someone here that's suffering because basically they self-inflicted this karma on themselves. So, and I feel like this queen does not feel bad at all. Is this four of swords here four of swords knight of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo why is this justice card here justice in a queen of pentacles Why is this Ten of Swords here? Ten of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. I mean, someone here is whacking themselves up in the uh, whacking themselves on the on the head right now. I mean, someone is realizing that they had it really good, and they messed it up. Why is this Page of Cups here? Page of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. You see, someone here is trying to figure out how to come back in to apologize. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Seven of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. I mean, someone here is coming back, trying to apologize here, but I feel like you're off having a good old time by yourself, uh, Sag. King of Swords. I mean, we have someone here that's trying to communicate with you. 
Perhaps this is a soulmate connection. Yeah? I mean, someone here wants to give to this again. Someone here is coming back. Change. Wanting a new beginning here with you. Someone can't stop thinking about you and is missing you. So, I think it's too late for this king here. Um, Sag. So, like I said, you're either this queen or this king. So, feel free to place yourself where you see fit. Take it as it resonates. The rules could be flipped or reversed, okay? So, if this uh, reading resonated, give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.